cafe. So we get here, we get to the cafe, I order a coffee, and I don't have my credit card. So I can run all the way back to the ship and get it. And I'll, well, when I got it, it's on the now. So it is coffee turn. Hey, how's it going? And today this is a tutorial for beginners and this is for if you're new to the iClone and you've just got the program and you're wanting just to play around with it and render something out. What we're going to do today is we're just going to render out a clip, a short clip, and we don't even have to bring in a camera. So that's pretty amazing. And what we're going to do is we're going to render a Mixamo character against a 2D backdrop. It's real easy to go to Mixamo and just download a character just there's a lot of tutorials out there on how to do that, so that's the only thing that you'll need for this. Or if you want, you could just use one of the actors that come included in iClone, one of these characters in one of the character folders, whichever one you want to use. So anyway, what we're going to do for this is we're going to come up here in the content browser. We're in the Windows standard workspace. And we come up here, we're going to click on this, and we're going to go into props, and we're going to search for image plane 2d right here and it's called image plane and we're just going to double click this and essentially what this is is this is almost like you can think of it as kind of a, a pre-filled in green screen so it's a backdrop for our character so we can film a scene with just a 2d plane we don't even need a whole 3d set and it looks fairly photorealistic the only thing is that you're restricted like you would be in front of a green screen. You have a very limited space. So that's all we're going to do here. And then I'm going to, with my scroll wheel, scroll in. I'm going to hit Alt, and with my left mouse button, I'm going to pull down. My right mouse button, I'm going to orient myself a little bit more squarely toward this plane. And just with your left and right mouse buttons and pressing Alt, you can navigate a scene very easily. Okay, so then that's all we're going to do. I'm going to close this for right now, this window. We'll be back to it. And I'm going to go ahead now and import that Mixamo character that I have. And it's just this cool looking astronaut. And the reason that I like him is that his face is covered and then I can bring in audio without having to worry about lip sync. Oh, the other thing is if you hit control G, you can bring in a ground plane and that helps keep your orientation. So all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to alt and just square up here on this image here and I'm not going to get the floor in this shot I'm just going to get him about from the knees up now there's a couple things to notice I just did a tutorial about lighting so just zoom in however you want to frame up the shot like there so there's a lot of stuff going on here it's kind of it's very very interesting so I'm going to go back and bring in my standard workspace and then here I'm going to go to the scene here and if we, what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the back and side lights. So we're just going to click these to deactivate them. And what's interesting about this, if we click on the key light, is that he's being lit from a couple of different sources. And it's really, really interesting because if we click on ambient light, I'll try to explain this the best I can, he's actually being lit by this scene here. This image here is providing lighting to the scene and that's why we see this reflection in his visor is coming from this image. And as I turn this up, this image itself is pro is providing more and more bounced light and it's all it's not only lighting the scene but it's also providing this reflection. But this doesn't really work here because this isn't Ideally, this image here should be of this scene, but and that's what this baking is about, or it says bake the image. But if we were to bake it, it wouldn't really work because it's not a complete scene. It's just a 2D backdrop. We don't want to turn this off 100% because it just would darken it too much. So even though this isn't the right image to light the scene, we can just bring it up a little bit. But you'll notice we're getting this highlight in his visor and that's coming from this image in the scene. But what we can do just to kind of fix that is just turn, if I alt and orbit just a little bit, I can kind of turn away from that image and, and minimize that. So just like that. And I was gonna have him talking to the camera so we can just play around and move it to where we kind of just minimize that reflection coming from that light. So I don't know, whatever, however you have to turn it to minimize it. Something like that, maybe. 
So maybe we see it a little bit, but not, not that much. So let's just leave it like that right there. And we see that we're getting this lighting from this image. And that's why they call it image-based lighting. So it's, but it's like bounced light coming off that image. Then we also are getting light from the key light, this, which is this color right here. And it's kind of brightening up the whole scene as well, but we don't want to overly brighten it. So you just have to look what looks right to you where he kind of matches and the scenes lit where we can kind of see into the shadow areas. So you have to just kind of play around and just do want volumetric lighting. So we can turn this on and increase that. And this really, this medium density multiplier does a nice job of bringing in some atmosphere. So it just really helps bring him into the scene there a little bit. And there's also, if you look, there's fog. There's fog you can add to, you know, there's all different things you can do to kind of add that atmosphere look. Now, he looks pretty good to me. I'm just going to go ahead and turn that down just a hair because he still looks a little bit bright. And believe it or not, that's it. So we've got him lit. We've got him in the scene. It looks like he's in a 3D scene. And he's not. He's just up against a 2D backdrop. So what I'm going to do now, this is controlling our what we're going to see. So I'm going to zoom in there a little bit so we don't see this floor here. So it's kind of a tight, tight shot right there. So we'll leave it like that. And then all we have to do is let me close out these windows because I don't need them anymore. If we come in and go F3, we can bring in our timeline. And like I said, we're in a preview camera right now. When we go to render, we'll see everything that's in this scene. So if we click this button right here, we can add our character to this to this timeline. And he's called Breathing Idol. And it brings in his an animation. And this clip right here on this timeline is a 30 second clip because it's 1800 frames at 60 frames per second. So I'm just going to click here and drag that idle animation out to about 1300 frames because I'm just going to render out about 1200 frames of this, of this video here. You could drag it all the way to the end if you wanted to. And believe it or not, that's all you have to do. And so we come up here to render and we go to render video and we have some settings here that we might want to use. Here we can set the, the range. So like I said, I was just going to make it about 1200. So we'll put it at 1200 and we can put on high quality depth of field. We can put on anti-aliasing that helps with motion blur. There's not much motion in here, but we could turn that on. This reduces color banding with noise. That sounds good to me. And render with max texture resolution. I don't see why we wouldn't. And then we simply go export, give it a name. I've done this a couple times today and just save it and it renders out and that's all there is to it. And I want to say, I think you can get a pretty good look straight out of the box with iClone. And the good thing about iClone is that you can export these characters that you animate as FBX files which is real handy. So you can use iClone as your tool for animating the character and then exporting to Unreal Engine or something like that. But you can also bring assets into iClone and then pretty quickly, like you just saw here, render out a short animated clip with a 3D backdrop or whatever it is you want to do. And it's pretty easy to do as you just saw, as you're seeing right here. So hope to be doing more tutorials on iClone. And if I post something and I'm a little bit off on something, I'll post an update to it. So anyway, take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time. Okay, so we get here, we get to the cafe, I order a coffee, and I don't have my credit card. So I can run all the way back to the shift and get it. Oh. Well, I got it. It's on the mail, so it is coffee turn.